doesn't say we're live, Cody. All right, now we're live. Good evening. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to, of course, another episode of High Top Sports. It's not necessarily the best day of the week, but it was a pretty damn good day. I will tell you that. It was a pretty damn good day. Spring game was is here. It was. It's now gone. But I look, I don't like to jump to conclusions. All right? I like to keep a level head. I like to be realistic about these things. If I had to sum up today in a couple of words, probably say we're back, Cody. Probably say <laughs> hey, that we're back. Hey. You know what I mean? Gators won I, today. I don't, I don't like to get too high. I usually like to keep a pretty even keel. But I think we're back. Oh, yeah. 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 All right. All right. Cool. All right. Glad I'm not crazy. Well, hold on. Before we bring anybody in, let's let's go over a couple of things, Cody. First of all, welcome to the show, boys and girls. Shout out to everyone I was able to meet and say hi to today. Always a blast. Always a pleasure. Um, Cody, let's 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 dabble back and forth before we we let the mob come rolling in. I know there's going to be some hate, some question marks. I have Gunner. Also, people. Uh, just so you're all clear, if you're new here, what we like to do usually after the game is a live react, kind of raw emotions, coming in hot and heavy, quick off the dome, and then I sleep on it, and then we have a show on Sunday. So make sure you guys come back tomorrow for the more level-headed response. But today, we're right on high, I'm riding on Kool-Aid, and we're going to rock and roll. So I'm feeling pretty good. Um, first thing that, like, off the top of the dome, DJ Lagway, obviously the biggest – see you later. Obviously the biggest thing that we wa- we were waiting to watch. Having a little technical difficulties here. Just a second. Hold on. We'll get him right back in. I think he hung up on us. He is driving as always. Um, let's go ahead and say, um, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and lead into what he was saying. Oh, oh, that's back. So DJ Lag- <laughs> DJ Lagway here. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. All right. DJ Lagway uh, looked, looked exciting. A lot of question marks we're going to get into. Obviously, we, we, we expect those things. But what I loved, his progression, him reading through, looked very comfortable back there in the pocket. Second half, things were locked down a little bit. We're going to talk about that. Me and Cody were kind of going over that early on. But his ability to sling it, two tutties. How about the walk-on, Taylor, Taylor Spiretto, I believe, number 30, catching a tutty, a couple passes, number 30, white boy just getting it done. Aiden Mazel eating. Love that. Offensive line look up, looked to hold up on both sides of the ball, which excites me a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, but, man, DJ Lagway, I, I said it to you before the show. This is my hot take for the day, and then we'll kind of get the show rolling. Reminding me, look, let's not get crazy. We're easy. I already hear you yelling, all right? Reminding me a little bit of Graham Mertz last year in the spring game, right? Showed some potential, liked his arm, but obviously we had a lot of things to grow on. That's our backup freshman quarterback. He looked like a four-year starter last year, in my opinion. Now, not to the fullest. I think Graham Mertz obviously still looked a little more comfortable back there than DJ probably did today. But I don't think I'm. I don't think I was had the blind goggles on again. I know. I think I feel I have a better understanding of it tomorrow. But he looked very comfortable. We. I, I was talking to Connor Clark, Mr. Hollywood, during the game, and he's like, "Bro, he's like Tim Tebow. Tim Tebow would have bad practices and then just ball out. The lights turn on, the fans show up." The guy locks in. He's a baller. And that's how I felt watching him today, that that first half, energy's pumping. He, he's a winner, right? Like, that's what Tebow was. The guy got it done. Like, when you th- when you when you want to sum up Tebow in one play, if you could sum Tebow up in one play, it's nothing from college. It's the play when he's with the Pittsburgh Steelers or the Broncos, and they go into overtime. He throws the 80-yard touchdown bomb to beat the Steelers in the playoffs. They had no business winning that game. But yep. Tim Tebow willed them to win that game because he's a baller. That's I'm sure people are going nuts right now, but that's what I'm feeling. How are you, how are you feeling, Cody? Feeling pretty good. I'm going to go with the cons first uh, before I go with my pros. I think okay. that's the All last. Right, Q- All right, Q- Lee. I think I think that's the last time we see Big Des in a in a Florida uniform. Whoa! I think he looks slow. I think he looked lethargic. I think the weight is getting to him. I think when I saw the younger defensive lineman, he's going to be pushed back. So far, not to where um, he's going to leave because he's upset about playing time. I think the staff is going to ask, um, you know, we need to relieve some scholarships. I think Big Des may not make the cuts. Okay, I was hearing a lot of, hey, we talked to a lot of people that are close to the program today. A name flying around, 
Starts with Andy, ends with Gene. We kind of talked about that earlier in the show, a couple weeks earlier this week. It looks like he might be hitting the uh, might be hitting the waves, but we'll see. Again, we have to make room. Also, two quick little more, more hot take, and then we'll bring the people in because I want to. I like hearing people out the thing, and then I kind of process it. Yep. Um, the wide receiver room, Eugene Wilson, obviously is the go-to guy. Looked exciting. But the, the wide receiver room needs work in a good way. I think Shamir DK brings some value. But Shamir DK kind of gave me like what Khalil Jackson was last year. Has the ability to get it done. But I need a big-time guy. Watching the Auburn game and seeing what uh, your boy – what did your boy do? Who's the five-star? Cam Coleman. Right? Coleman. I wouldn't want those plays. And we got a little bit from that from Eugene Wilson. I expect that from Eugene. I want another guy. I want another guy to get that done. And I don't know if, if Shamir is going to do that. Shamir, and I, we were talking about today, great 2-3 guy. I don't think he's supposed to be the guy. No, that's but not did, a, that's, not a, that's not a shot, but I just think we can go get down. Can we, did can, his, is the guy did his job. He did his job well, like on the last drive. He catches that big one across the middle. And that's sure. that's what he's that's what he's supposed to be. He's supposed to be um he's he's a step down from pure salt he's not pure salt um Agreed. but you know he can make a catch when when it counts um i think that um i i have to agree i gotta see one more guy um possibly through the spring transfer portal to to pop up in the wide receiver room um running backs if i'm montrell johnson i'm looking Jayden over my Ball, shoulder baby three star running back baby how about him Ball How and Daniels. Him? Daniels Daniels has some flashes, too. Hey, I told y'all not to worry about Trevor Etienne. Running, running backs, bro, all of them looked exceptional. And we still got Cam Carroll that didn't even play today. So, wasn't worried about that. The vision they had on the football field today, impeccable. Impeccable. Also, last little bit. Sorry, I know I keep doing this, but I'm fired up. How many people we got in the chat, Cody? How, what are we working with? Who's here? Uh, 212. We got Love. Um, Love it. Scott O2O, Smash. Brandon Curry. Winner's, winner's point of view, Scott. Winner's point of view, baby. Uh, you Jay know Money. Lagway, also, another comparison here. Graham Mertz, to me, is like the Montreal John, Johnson of running backs, right? He's not flashy. He's going to get it done. He's going to fall four or five yards every single time. He's going to. He's he's your guy that you can count on, right? DJ Lagway, I I feel is is kind of like the Trevor Etienne. Still it needs some work. Has some areas of improvement, but has a ton of explosion, big flash, big play opportunity guy, and I think that combo is going to be absolutely discussing if used properly talk to judd if you guys missed the pregame show which was absolutely impeccable hell of a show earlier on today judd said talking to some of the coaches i think it was judd uh that they they plan to use dj like a tebow type type esque in packages so all right cody that's uh, that's all i got off the top of my dome let's let's break we got people with waiting waiting to call in who's waiting to call in cody uh well we gotta put the we gotta put the um the thing in the in the description. Hold on. I'm having a Holy camera problem. Holy crap, Cody. You didn't even put the. Oh, my god! I haven't, I haven't put the it Cody, in yet. Hold Cody, on. Cody. Cody. Was this. I can't hey, it's my spring. Blood. It's my spring practice, too. Big dog. That's true. Cody. Cody was dialed in. Now, I know there's going to be a lot of heat. I can't see the comment sections, but I imagine that they're going bananas. We had a couple. I, I saw a Mark Long tweet about it. That's how I also know about it. Um, We had some special team errors. I saw I, I saw a couple of those today, which is I re- it just fuck you. What you there? All right, good talk. I'm here, yeah. All right. Well I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the link in the description and then I'm gonna fix my green screen and we'll we'll get we'll get comment on it. Watching I, when I went down into the uh the I was down the they look just look like they know what they're doing. They look comfortable out there. They look like they're 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 roaming around the field very healthy, right? Like they've got that third eye, that 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 bird. I Sharif did so with a nice pick. Bad throw, in my opinion, not the best. Graham had a little breaky there? here, a little breaky there. Um, but power of looking. Yeah, you hear me? Yeah. You hear me? Yeah, yeah, you're oh, better. Shit. You just broke up a little bit. All right, link's in the description. Go ahead and call in when you're ready. And let's talk a little Florida Gator football. Oh, 
talk dirty to me, baby. Apologize the issue with the live stream earlier. I said it properly. I don't know what happened. So it was like on this like the continuous loop of like frozenness. Um, I don't know what happened. But, yeah, yeah I, I have to agree. Uh, uh, High Tech Sam, Dream says McCray McCray looks legit. Get to the game, quick, real quick. I'm putting a little vlog together from today. Uh, I talked with Aiden Mazel, dabbed him up, spoke with Cam for a bit. But I saw El Great Game gave a little fist bump. Kids were getting autographs, so I don't want to be like a weirdo. Um, I just wanted to say hey really quick. Saw Jameer Grimsley, dabbed him up. Uh, uh, Abrams, I think, as well. But yeah, LJ, bro, he looked... I didn't get to see much of him. That's why I can't go back. I can't wait to go back and watch the... the look, I love going to the games to get to, to talk to people, meet with some people. Um, but I, I like to say... Shout out to Ben Smith and Mama Smith as well, too. I got to see them today. It's kind of like a tradition. You know, I get to see them when I go to the games. So... Also, Cody. Uh, link is in the chat. Uh, sorry, guys, it will not let me put it in the description the now that the stream has uh, started. Sorry. It wouldn't let me. It wouldn't let me uh, add it to the description, so I put it in the chat. The link. Are you there? All right, let's go ahead and bring Todd Freeman on. How you doing, Todd? Hey, what's going on, man? Go Gators. Go Gators. Hey, the winning team. Back, baby. Hey, we are back. I feel it. Okay. Hey, DJ Ladway, I'm ready. I'm ready to see it. I know we got to wait, but I'm ready to see it. I need the packages. Look, this is what I'll, I'll – so you're – okay, so you're ready for the packages, but you're still you're still on the merch train, right? Oh, yeah. We can't, we oh, yeah. Can't, we can't overlook merch. All right. All right, all right, good. I don't want that to get too crazy because Merck did his job today. Because that's something, too, like, again, I think I was asking Cody because I went down to the bottom, and I, you can't see shit from when you're on the bottom. Um, it felt like the second half kind of slowed down a little bit, and I was asking Cody, like, what happened? Was it play calling? Was it defense? Was it a little bit of both? I think the defense made some adjustments, but I also think offensively, I think they could probably cut down the playbook a little bit. And, oh, my God, I seen interceptions. Holy shit. Right? When's the last time we saw that? Oh. Oh, a zero. Got an interception. Holy shit. Sacks, hey, 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 interceptions, hey, tight hey, coverage. Hey, Lagway would have shredded that defense up, though, if, uh, you know what I'm saying, it wasn't touch football. But, uh, yeah. Oh, there would have been a couple of touchdowns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There would have been a couple of touchdowns. You know, in the in the, in the the second half, I thought the run defense was, was, was really, really good. I know for sure. Hey, LJ, lock down that corner, baby. Lock down that edge. It was it. So he looked Who's good. Your... I'm excited. I, I didn't get to see much of him. I'm excited to see. I'm gonna go back and watch and watch him pretty closely. So he was something to watch than yesterday or today. Yes. Good who stuff. Is, Definitely. Who is your winner of the game, Mr. Todd Freeman? So, uh, before we before we go before we go on to somebody else, who is your MVP offense, MVP defense? Let's get it. Let's go, Todd Freeman. Offensive MVP, I would say Burks. Or Burke. Okay. Should I say? Okay. Marcus Burke. And then. Defensive MVP. Uh, what's uh, uh I just go with LJ, but it was definitely a, a linebacker that we Pup. just got. Pup, Pup. Pup Howard. Oh yeah, Pup. Pup. Definitely Pup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pup made a couple of plays. Me, and then me, no forty-one me. though. Oh, the kicker. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Golly, bro. Woo. I saw him out to the game, bro. I was going to give him some shit, but he was over with his parents. I was like, yeah, tough day, buddy. Tough day. Tough day, right. day. Tough day in the office. But all right, y'all. Yeah. Go wait, Gators. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Give, me, oh. give, me, give me a pro and a con, right? Like, like We got we to gotta please both sides here. Give me a pro and a con. Uh, I would have thought today. we needed better lanes on the running the running game. Yep. But uh, Okay. And also, uh, Mertz got to, you know what I'm saying, figure it out a little bit with those with the, some of those passes. But other than that, I like it. That, that sounds like two cons. But all right, all right, we'll, we'll go. The, <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll I mean, and one pro was, you know, what I'm saying they uh definitely look better passing the ball down the field, for sure. Right. It just it felt like it was flowing, right? And I yeah, honestly, it was flowing. Like, you know, 
we didn't have interceptions last year in the spring game, but you almost don't mind the interception. It means I'm throwing the ball in areas that I typically would. Like, you're, you're, put, you're putting it in spots, and you're, you're making a guy make a play. Like, I'm okay with interceptions. Sometimes we get this, like, in our head, like, oh, we should be throwing picks. No. no I'm slinging it around, and the defense is starting to pick up on some things. Like, we're not just dump passes, dump pass, dump pass. We're putting it on the football field, making some plays. So, I, I like it. Mazel going to show out this year, too. Yeah, man. He looks Mazzell good. going to make some big, plays. Man. I taught, bro. I taught, I, again, I, I went, I dodged him up. He came over and said, Hey to him. Um, uh, from le- like last year, saw him the same exact time. So I'm, saw him on the sideline, looked like a little kid last year. I thought, I thought I almost called him dad earlier. You know what I'm saying? Like, but he looks like a fool. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, I, I was like, sure. Yes, sir. Hey, right, my bad. My, my bad. You know what I mean? Mr. Mazel, sir. So no, it's, it's cool to see his progress over the year. He looks great. Thank you. All right, Ty. I love you, man. You say, go get it. Hey, Bubba. Yeah. Go Gators, buddy. <laughs> All right, y'all. Hell yeah. We'll see you. Cody, keep keep dropping the link in there since you since you effed up. Cody, you okay. almost had a perfect score today, bro. I almost put in a, a, a almost put you a paylocity entry of good job for Cody. And you almost if you would have crushed it, you would have I would have dropped the Chiefs thing, but you you dropped the ball. And so now I get to hang on to the Chiefs thing some more. It's you were my, almost perfect. It's, it's it's my spring practice too, though. You were almost perfect from being production crew today, from being ready. I mean, you were exceptional. And then you just, you know, but hey, yeah. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Great day overall. Don't, don't, we have don't a, hey, don't. You we have a, a pick, high top all. legend about to come on. It better be, uh, let me guess. It, let me guess. It, okay. A legend. Is it Sorley? No. Is it Q Lee? Tell me it's no. Q. No. It's not Q. Q, Q's Hall of Famer. Q's Hall of Famer. Is it Pimp and Patty? Uh, it's Pimp and Patty. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. I was getting. Let's there. bring him on. Pimp and Patty's gonna get long winded. You gotta keep him. You gotta keep him in check. All right. Five yes, minutes. Yes. Three minutes, Pippin. Three what minutes, Pimpin. He's not gonna listen. He didn't hear. What's up, Pimpin? I'm not gonna listen. I, I thought about <laughs> it for a second, but I was like, eh, no. but hey. Real quick, I am so sorry about last couple of times on the show. My bad. What was what happened last? New, <laughs> new, new year, new you. New Pippin. Uh, evidently, I was slightly inebriated. Like my girlfriend said, I thought you wasn't gonna do high top. I didn't. She's like, No, you did. I was like, Oh no. <laughs> it was a tough year <laughs> last year, bro. I was like, I'm gonna have one beer. And then I watched the offense. I was like, I'm gonna have these two cases. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, how, how, how are we feeling, Pippin? How are we feeling after now? How many, Dude, how, how many cases? I, I am sober. We're doing good. We're doing okay. good. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm excited, bro. I've been excited. What's been driving me nuts, and I haven't been on the show to yell at people. Everybody's like, the offensive play calling. It's got it. No, we see the offensive line to stop playing air drills during the game. <laughs> and it looked like that. I thought they'd been sent to HR and were told they couldn't touch nobody else. Like, <laughs> defensive lineman runs up, like, hey, just pull him through. Now, I hear you need to hit underneath the numbers to legs, take out the motor. Hit, he's holding the football. He can't even defend himself. Just grab him real quick, bro. Come on through. <laughs> <laughs> take I out the it. motor, no. though. I, th- I look, and this, I was literally saying this today. Look, everyone keeps bitching about the offense. Did it have its pros? And we saw the fucking. We saw the triple reverse. I'm like, Billy, you had everything going. We didn't need to see it again. But, uh, no, look, I think the offense showed some excitement today because guess what? We had a line that fucking held up for more than 2.2 seconds. HR backed off of them. Yeah, I have no – how they had two coaches. It had to be a bad HR rep there. I was like, what? You're like, special teams sucked. I'm like, have y'all seen the – I was ready to hire the special teams coach on the line last year. Just have him coach the offensive line. Like, somebody – no, it looked the O line looked good. I, I I agree. So you're feeling pretty good then. You're feeling what 12 and 0? 15 and 0, 16 and 0, okay. you know what I'm saying? Like I, I don't know what the season's gonna look like, but what I j- made my judgment on why I got excited was after the season, there was like a whole host of things we needed changed. And sure. He went out and he at least attempted the changes. And what I respect even more than that is he didn't force the change. He went out, he looked for an OC, and he couldn't find the right guy for his system. Which, if you remember back in the Muschamp era when Charlie Wise came in as offensive coordinator, you were like, but I don't know if we got the right thing going here for that. And then it was terrible. At least 
he didn't buckle and, and make another terrible choice on top of what wasn't the greatest choice. So I'm happy with everything that he's done in the offseason. And I feel like no matter what, we're going to have positive steps coming in the season. We're in a meat grinder. I don't know what this translates to, but this will be a better team than last year. I love hey hey so we're pimping's a a, a, a a dialed in pimping I love it no, I spit spit facts it's it's gonna be good you can't we we can't we don't and, and it could be, we have a we could have a great schedule who knows what these teams are gonna look like next year especially sure. with these transfer portal all this mess this is the worst time by anybody out there saying get a new coach like you're stupid. We don't even know what it's going to be to coach college football in three more years. Like people who we think are doing good in this transfer era and this uh, NIL era, they could be doing it all wrong. And in two years, the entire team screwed. So this is not a time to be looking for a new coach anyways. Pimp and Patty's bowed. Cody, ask me your question. And then uh, I want to pro and con from you, Pimpin. All right, Pimpin. Who is your MVP for the offense? Who is your MB- MVP for the defense? MVP for the obvious lagway. That boy, he's eating those special breakfasts. He's been eating steroids since he was three or something. I don't know. Easy. Come hey, they, put, easy. Uh, yeah. they, they put him on the Wheaties box in Gainesville. I ain't going to lie to you. All right? yeah. I saw that man's box. stacked. He's already looking like Rosie McDonald. You know what I'm saying? Like. And then what right, about for the defense? the defense? Pup Howard. And I'm, I'm going to be honest, I actually didn't get to watch too much of the spring game. I had to take the kids out to a festival. But the other guy said Pup Howard, so I'm going to roll with it. You know what I'm saying? Like pup, pup looked like a a a newer generation a linebacker better. that that we have not had. He's he is hey. built better than than what we have had in a long time in in the linebacker realm. No Shamar James and no Miles Graham and no Aaron Childs to boot. The question marks that wasn't there with all the injured players, the offensive line stuff, like you said, all those guys too, like. Dude, the talent look good, and we're missing half our talent right now. Like, yep, yeah, that's Pippin. I appreciate you, man. Appreciate, hey, appreciate you behaving today. This was that. Tell your girlfriend that you were good today, so you're good. I wish she might be in the chat. Uh, she's not, and nobody sells on drugs <laughs> this time. I appreciate that, guys. Y'all some fine people. I didn't have the chat up last time. I made sure I did this time. You know, I love it, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate you, Bubba. Go get all right, Pimpin. We'll see you. All right, buddy. Pimpin's dialed, bro. I love. Hey, sober, pimp, sober Pimpin's dialed in, Pimpin. Q Lee, you well, better call in with your damn scarf, bro. Florida Waters, four ninety nine. Uh, your boy, a pigskin gator. We're gonna be in the NCAA tournament for show. Mm. Your boy's best. I love be it. ready. I love it. Thank you, Florida Water. How many people in here, baby? Uh, we got a we, we have a bunch stacked up here. We're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go with Liam Oliver. Um, he's been waiting a minute. And then I think uh, I met next Liam up, today. And then next on deck is Brandon Curry as he sips his beer. Cheers. I think I met I met a Liam today. How many people are in the chat? Uh, two forty four. Mm, I love that. <laughs> is this the Liam I met today? Let me see. Let me see. Oh yeah, I man. I don't him. That's a Liam. Today, Gator Jacket Liam. What's up, baby? Got the plug to China. All right, Liam, you got to fix the mic, buddy. You can't. You can't Are you can't, there? I, mean, I can't hide. Y'all well, he's, probably, he's still in Gainesville, so there's like no cell reception. Yeah. Oh, you there? Can you hear me? Oh, yeah. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Liam. Uh, Spurriers. Oh, you're going to Spurriers? Hello? Are you there? Liam, you got to in, Bubba. You got to clean All right. We're going to, we're going to uh, Brandon Curry. We'll wait for Liam to come back in. What's up? My goodness. Look at that guy. Is this? What's up, boys? First time calling in. He's ginormous. What do you think of today? I thought um, some good takes. I can't really look too much at the spring game because last year we sucked, and I think we really clicked on offense last year after that uh, bad showing of last year. Um, I really like the running backs we got in that we brought in. Man, I think Billy's really finding these guys that aren't really, you know, 
four or five star guys that could really pan out. Um, I thought her interior of the line actually played pretty good. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yep. I don't see oh, Brandon. Okay. Is, is I thought her. Yeah. Can you yeah, hear me? He's here. Oh, I can't see him. What's up, Brandon? What up, buddy? Just chilling by the pool. I can't hear him. You're going to have to run the interview, Cody. I can't hear him. All right. I got it. Uh, <laughs> I was running it anyway. So, um, all right. What? Oh, okay. So oh. let's go ahead and, and, and get to it. Uh, Shown by the pool, so you're not taking a bunch of stock in the spring game. Obviously, what? How yeah, did you yeah, yeah. feel? How? What? Who were your flash players today that that you felt popped off the screen? Taylor Spirito, duh! Like the, the, the walk on, taking over, game, like baby. dude. Billy's Billy's been Billy's been saying the walk on program is crucial. Right, and not in that. Like you talk about a guy who's undersized, but. He, he, he's buying into every practice. He's showing up. And, like, you talk about a guy that put all his work in. It's showing. He got scholarship. Like, that's my MVP for offense. Okay, what about defense? For sure. Um, defense is a little bit harder. I was a little more disappointed in the defense. Um, I, like, Eugene did good, but I thought our safeties made him look way too good. Um, like, a lot of busted coverages. Um, like we brought in four safeties, and I, I, I'm – like, I'm not too confident as of what I just saw. Um, um, other than that, I thought Nunnery did pretty good. Um, but, man, I really focused a little bit more on the offense. Like, I thought the interior offensive line did really well. I thought our tackles struggled a lot. Um, but I thought the inside interior offensive line really made a lot of holes for, the, like, uh, Jaden Bow and then the other guy that we brought in. George looked better today, natural, at, at that guard position, I thought. Yeah, but like I was, a, I was a blown away honestly by the defense. Uh, but I thought we we made some plays, but I was a little more disappointed in our safety play. Um, early, but you know, I I think it's it's so early, and those guys are so new. I think they're not going to really click until that fall time. For sure, for sure, a lot of those guys are very new. I will say I did like the did adjustments coming from the defense. Yes, Shelton, I I did like the adjustments coming from the defense in the second half kind of clamped down, started jumping some routes. I will say there was an adjustment on defense um, that, that did make them flash a little bit better. LJ McCray had a big big uh, sack or a, a tackle. Um, Pup, Pup Howard looked great in, in, in both run defense and playing the pass. I, I, I thought there was some flashes there on the defense, um, but you, you really had to be watching them to see them. Hey, can I, can I go real quick? Can you hear yeah. me? Yeah. yeah. What's yeah, up, ahead. Brandon? What's up, baby? Looking good by the pool. Uh, look. What up, buddy? Get the sun. Yes, sir. Speaking about the secondary, look, I think early on, you know, there's a question, right? Because we're kind of, we're hitting a bunch, bunch of big plays. I was talking with Connor because I'm, I'm watching this too. A lot of it was, look, the line was holding up more than ever. So Grant was able to get to that third progression, which that play was meant to develop. It was, look, after that time, quarterbacks run out of, run out of breath. Right, that play should be open, so that's a that's a positive thing there. Also, too, okay. I was hoping the offense should shred the defense. The defense is the newest part of the of the of the program, right? I mean, they got completely right. remasked. So, like what Cody said, I think the second half they had made some adjustments and it kind of started shutting some shit down. So, but I agree with you. There was definitely some some holes, and I was wondering that too was the secondary. But it felt like there was tight coverage. It just felt like the routes were a little bit better than they had been in the past, and Mertz had time, which were the two biggest takeaways for me. So you you were a little irritated with the safety play. If 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 um, uh, Wilson goes out and he Wait, has an uh, all, uh, all American year, so he scorches nope. our defense for Wilson. Eugene Wilson goes out and has an all American yes. year, yeah. and he scorched our defense for 128 yards and a touchdown. And and looked looked like he was not playing full speed. To me, he looked like about he was playing eighty percent. Truthfully, no, truthfully, um, I, I I'll say this: if he goes out and has an all American year, and he was toying with our defense, like yeah, there's some stuff, but there was some contested catches that the that he did not catch also. So he wasn't perfect for the day. Um, but if he goes out and has a killer year. You know, it's like, well, that guy is just one of those guys. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I think the biggest thing is that I took from it was is Eugene and Mertz 
showed it showed that connection over the last two years. Yep. But obviously that defense is new. It's going to take them at least another six months to get everything dialed in. So like that's why I'm not holding too much on the spring game. But just from evaluating it, that's kind of what I noticed the most out of the whole thing. No, I okay. think your evaluation spot on. I don't. I don't. Yeah. And again, like this is what's going to happen, right? Like either if a, a group performs well, you typically means the other one's not doing well, right? It's not like best case right. scenario. And that was that time that did feel like that, where it's like, look, the line held up, coverage was great. But the line was able to hold up long enough for that third progression to develop long enough to where it's like, look, like it's hard for anybody to cover somebody that long. And that's right. where yeah. some of those big plays up the middle, the crossing routes, like the quarterback was there, there, there. And it's like he finally starts pulling away. He should pull away. Like that's that should happen in any game. So those right. things excited me. But I think, yeah, look, there was, it was chippy, bro. Jason Marshall was getting into it. Boarding hand was getting a little chippy. Like I was watching after play when I got down there. Love seeing that. I, at, at the end of the game, that was a little shady, some shady shit going on with Billy calling timeout or whatever. But uh, they uh, they came over and were, like, talking shit. So it was fun to see the little competitive edge. For sure. So, yeah, I got a few more things to add, too. Um, I was I was a little ahead, disappointed. Bro. I was a little disappointed that we didn't get the tight ends more involved. Uh, you know, I look back to that trash and pitch here where we, we we don't have the height on at, with the receivers. And we're not using like Arliss Boardingham and some of those bigger guys. Just give them some down down the middle of the field. Um, like obviously he had one catch, but like if we're not gonna bring in an elite receiver, which we should, with some height to get away from the speedsters that we have, we have to figure out a way to get the tight ends more of the ball. So did did you notice? That's, that's a great point. Boardingham made that big play at the end, though, which is nice. And I think yeah, the one catch more like that, right? That, that's oh, who right. Was, yeah. And, who was the offensive coordinator for Team Blue? Was it Callaway? I, I don't know. I, I tried to look at it the other night, but I don't recall. Um, I I'll say Billy I'll say this. Had his hand I, in both, if I had to guess. I I, I went back and watched some of Callaway's play calling at his previous uh as previous stop, and he's going to use the tight ends if they get open. Um, I think I think the only thing with boarding him that I want him to do is when 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 the quarterback rolls out I want him to work back towards the the quarterback um which he did have a couple big catches but he needs to when the quarterback is in trouble he needs to realize he's the safety blanket and roll back and come back towards the quarterback get himself open that's the only knack I had on on boarding him today um he had one play that that was an errant throw I think he ran the wrong route um and then he threw his hands up like oh I, I probably did run the wrong route so I think they're going to get the tight ends. And listen, it's it's as vanilla as it gets when it comes to play calling. Right. I think that's what's exciting because yeah. you know Billy's not going to bring out all the stops. And it looked like the tempo was there today on both sides. Both, both off. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I agree with that. We, I, I definitely think in this portal, though, we have to try to get a bigger, a bigger receiver. Um, I think that's one of the most important things. Obviously, Eugene's could be a number one. Um, I don't. I think we need like another guy that can step into that role. I think Khalil and a bunch of the other receivers; those are like number three receivers. I don't think they could be a number two. Um, so I'm really hoping Billy in this next part of once some of these loaded teams that have all this talent realize they're not playing. Like I just looked at Ohio State's roster. Jeremiah Smith is is like a backup receiver, which he should be starting at any other school. And then there's a couple other ones that are uh, Ennis. He's another good one. Um, but, like, some of these guys got to be like, hey, I could go to this school, play right away with a league competition, and we, we got to try to go get another big play receiver. I have to agree with that. Yeah, I think that's definitely – I mean, I was talking to a lot of guys today. That's definitely the target uh, for the portal is to go get a big-time wide receiver. If it happens, obviously we don't know. I don't think Jeremiah Smith leaves Ohio. But, yeah, like, I, I agree with you. Like, that was yeah, always like, the big sell. It's like, bro, Jeremiah, you'd be the guy here. I've been watching right. some of his clips – from Ohio State, the guy's incredible. But he, he was a, a – I saw, like, I guess they put a black stripe. I don't really – I'm not familiar with Ohio State's, like, culture. But I guess they have a black stripe on the rookies and transfers, and he was the fastest to have this black stripe removed from – out of anybody, like, in, in Buckeye history, I think. Or at least he was the fastest this time out of freshmen and transfers to have it removed. And how you get it removed, basically, the staff and everybody agrees, like, he, he is, he's a Buckeye. Like, he earned the stripe in a way. Love it. Yeah. All right. So, who is your, who's oh, your, who, go ahead, go ahead. who's your MVP uh, offense and then defense? So, t- uh, the Spirito was was my 
MVP of the offense. Yes, sir. Okay. And yes, then sir. I'll go with Nunnery on the defense. You know, I, I already, I already know that. DJ. I already know DJ was going to do what he did. I knew G- Eugene was going to do what he did. Not to me to that extent, but um, Spirito is really putting the work. Um, and then you know, I'm giving the MVP to that kid. I loved it. That's our little Julian Edelman slash Ricky Pierce in the making, boys. I loved it. I was, I was, it, I was little I was Danny Woodhead. Man. I was. Yeah, baby, bro. It was fun watching him play. I even asked Connor Clark. I was like, yo, you think he gets some playing time? He he said no. He doesn't think he's got that dog in him. But we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. <laughs> All right, boys. It was real. All right. It was fun. It, man. Go, go Gators. Get, hey, get that tail. Go on, Gators. Guys. All right. We got All right. Joshua on. God, What's up, we, guys? Bro, we're, we're, we just had Swole Nation. The fuck? We got the, the damn fitness class just in. Everyone's calling in, leaving the gym. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, they just all left hot uh, yoga. I'm at, I actually just pulled up to the gym. Yeah. Um, so I'm about to get my workout in. Oh, okay. But, um, right. We're about to get um, pumped in, baby. Let's go. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think the, the one player that stood out to me the most on offense, I don't know if you guys uh, talked about him, um, but uh, was Jaden Ball. Um, that guy really sees the field really well. And the way he jump cuts kind of reminds me of, um, Naquan Wright. He was really good at jump cutting and, uh, Jaden Ball, really good at jump cutting as well. And I think his size and his speed, um, he's just, I don't know. He, I feel like he needs to take some carries away from Webb. Um, he just looks really, really good. Um, DJ Lagway, I think is what we all kind of expected. You can see the talent, um, I think you have to get him on the field um, in some way. Uh, this season, there's no way you can keep that on the bench. Um, defense looked good. I think in the secondary, you can tell we we have we have like some more length and speed on the field. So um, defense looked really good. I was impressed with Pup Howard. Um, and then I, I agree with you uh, with Des Watson. He just yeah, he just looks like he's just so big to where he just he can't move around um i don't you know the couple of plays that he was uh on the field it just looked like he had like no impact he just stood up and then i don't know it just he looks way too big um yeah i know some of those i know i know watson obviously we've had him on the podcast great kid yeah i know to some people he's a fan favorite if if i'm making the decision if i'm making the decision today if they said, Cody, listen, um, you get to make the cuts for Florida to open up in the transfer portal. I, with the with the defense, with Searcy, McCray, um, Sap, and and all the others, like like love you guy, but it's not working out. Yeah, yeah, and it sucks because yeah, he was a fan favorite uh, for me too. Just a big old dude wearing twenty one. Uh, I thought that was uh, awesome. Um, but um, and then. I think with the wide receiver room, it's obvious Eugene uh, is going to be our number one wide receiver. And then number two is kind of still up in the air. Um, you know, is it going to be Khalil? Is it going to be um, DK? Is it going to be uh, maybe one of the true freshmen like um, Hawkins or maybe Mizell? I think Mizell looked really good. You could see how he could just sprint and go straight forward, and he just looks super fast. Um, so I think – It'll be interesting to see who comes out as wide receiver too, because it's clear that um, Eugene is uh, the best. So, who is your yeah, I think, offensive? Look, so Shamir DK. Go ahead, yeah, Shelton. Just, just real quick, Shamir DK wasn't maybe what we were hoping or thought he would be, but we still have to kind of give him the pass that look. It's four, yeah, four sixteen practices in for him too. So, I, I, I'm not going to necessarily say the verdict is completely out on on DK on that because again, I think. He should be – not that he should be the number one guy, but I, I would imagine, like, him coming in, having experience with Graham, having a four years' experience in college, he should be able to bring what Ricky brought. And we didn't see it today. That doesn't mean he's not yeah. going to bring it. But I I wouldn't necessarily sell on him just yet. But, again, yeah. See. Go ahead, Cody. No, yeah. Yeah. So, who was your offensive MVP and then your defensive MVP? MVP? Uh, I'd have to give the offense uh, MVP to Jaden Ball. Uh, I was really impressed with him. Uh, and then defense, I'm going to give it to Sharif Denson. I believe he was the one that picked off Mertz. Um, that was a pretty good it, interception. Um, yeah. You know, it, it's, it was good to see some interceptions from the secondary, uh, but he had a really nice interception. Um, I think he was covering DK. 
So uh, I'd have to give the defensive MVP to um, Sharif. For sure. Uh, MP class, um, It, like he said, it was uh, – the interception was in the in the second half. That was that was him. That's, that's yeah. what Joshua was just saying. Um, yeah, Denson. It's good to see those guys um, starting to mature. Um, yeah. yeah. You know, I thought I thought that uh, the secondary in the second half, after they made those adjustments, looked really good. I mean, they were jumping balls. They were yeah. swatting passes. DK had that long one um, in the end zone. I don't know who was on coverage on that, but knocked the ball away. Um, it was it was a catch at the first point of catch, and then knocked the ball away, and then they went into the bushes. Um, yeah. So so it's good good to yeah. see that that was that they're, uh, that was, they're still uh, fighting. Devin Moore and Asa Turner that made that play. Okay. So so yeah. it was good that yeah. that they're still they're, that they're still fighting. They're not just giving up like last year. That would have been a touchdown probably. Um, sure. Yeah. And I get that that some guys streaked wide open, but it seemed like the during the second half they definitely made the adjustments. Um, you know, the coaches lit a fire under their ass and said, "This is this is enough is enough. You guys need to lock it down." The interceptions were actually exciting for me for Lagway because it just yeah. shows you like, like yes, you're talented, but you can't throw cross body across the field in this league because they're going to jump the pass. Yeah. And I think I think those interceptions. Right now are bigger than touchdowns. Everybody's raving about his touchdown throw. I think the interceptions are a bigger, um, impactful learning point than. Yeah, what. and to actually to piggyback off of uh, yeah, that interception, you could tell right after that he just threw it out of bounds. After that, you didn't see him try to like fit it or in yeah. there or try to flip it in there. So, like right after that, you, you could tell he just learned quick. He just threw it out of bounds anytime uh, the pocket collapsed or he didn't have uh, anyone open. So you could tell. And then the other thing too is um. I think after his first scoring drive, you could just tell he just has that natural leadership, um, which was really good to see. So it's, it's very clear and obvious that he's going to be our franchise quarterback uh, for the future. So I'm excited. Absolutely. Yeah, he started to make those Graham Mertz decisions by throwing it away. But, uh, yeah. Joshua, I appreciate you, big guy, man. Thank you for calling him both. Yeah, man. Go Gators. Go Gators. Hey, Cody, real quick before you bring on our, our next guest, would you let Joshua go? Um, how many people got waiting? Uh, so we're we're empty right now. People need to call in. Oh well, no, we got. I'm about to be home, so that's actually perfect. Okay. <laughs> we, we can probably let's go ahead and start shutting her down then, and uh, let's close her up. Okay. Um, look, all in all, lines are closed, so don't call in. Um, good day, good day. I think we'll be able to digest some more. Is Keeley in the chat talking shit? Did he say no? Keeley's MIA magically. Wow. Wow. And even how, how is the chat feeling overall positivity coming through or how they feel? pretty, yeah, pretty positive. A lot of stuff on, um, on Burke. There's a lot of love for Burke. There's a lot of love for ball. Um, there is, um, uh, Denson. A lot of people like Denson, Asa Turner. Um, there's, there's a lot of love uh, wondering about Andy Jean. Once they want him to be the number two guy, he's just got to get over the injury bug. Um, Andy Jean's gone. I, I, that's my prediction. Come tomorrow, he's gone because the portal opens uh, tomorrow. But you didn't hear it from me. So yeah, a lot of a lot of it's it's pretty a lot of love for McRae, which doesn't surprise me. He flashed a lot, and then um, it, it's a pretty positive. There's not a lot of negative here. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, McRae is legit. Um, it, how did the guys look to you? Compared to last year, did, did they look bigger? Did they look? Yeah, stronger? man. In person, they looked. They looked incredible. Like I said, A. Mazel looked fantastic. L. J. looked lean. Cam looked lean. I joked around with him when I saw him. Jake Ball. I mean, all those running backs. Their legs looked ginormous. D. J. Lagway is is as big as they come for a quarterback perspective. Graham was on the other side, so I was on the orange side. I was buying orange. So that's who kind of who I got a, got a taste of. Um, Definitely felt, bro. Fletcher, I've got a, I've got a video clip. It's Fletcher, Roderick, and I want to say Kelby Collins. I saw Kelby Collins. I mentioned this on the first show. Kelby Collins is absolutely ginormous in, the, in all in all the right ways. Um, but I had it was Rod, Fletcher, and I think Collins, and Fletcher just towered over them, bro. Crazy, dude. Absolutely crazy to see uh, how much bigger he is versus everybody else. Like it just. He looked good. Fletcher looked really good. I'm really excited to see what he's going to be able to do. 
I did Najee play because I saw him limping into the stadium. Did you see him play? I think he. I think I did see uh, Najee Harris play a little bit. Maybe it was a pimp walk. I don't know. Um, I, don't know. I saw Cam get hurt early on, so I was kind of worried. But it looked he's like good he though. Okay. Yeah, he came back good. In. So his funny bone or something. Uh, what about the two freshman running backs? Now, when I did that interview with Scott Strickland, the interview that he didn't know he was getting interviewed, um, uh, he did oh, say Caden Daniels is Caden Daniel. These two running backs are like grown ass men. They don't look like freshmen. Yeah, I saw I saw Jaden Ball. Uh, like he was right in front of me, and he. I mean, like you can usually see which ones are the freshmen and which one. Like Aiden Mizell last year, I remember. Like, yeah, he looked like a freshman wide receiver. Yeah. He looked like a wide. Jameer Grimsley looks like a freshman cornerback. He did. Um, Abrams and uh, Hawkins, they both looked like they're getting there. So they're not. I don't feel like they were there fully, but they looked like they were getting there. Um, but Ball, legit, no lie, looked like Montreal. Like Santa around next to him. Look like look like he looked bigger than Camp Carroll. And Camp Carroll's fucking ginormous. Like that that was crazy to see all of them by, by standing next to them. So yeah. they look they look good in person. They looked they looked uh, they looked healthy. Looked like, looked like Tyler Miles was doing the Tyler Miles work. Not 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 skipping leg day. No, no, not like not like me. Uh, I skipped I've been skipping and I did it on Thursday, which was a horrible idea because I've been struggling the last two days. But uh yeah, no, they looked they looked good. They looked and good. then before before we sign off, what was the vibe for you? Um, did did the Saturday help um, instead yeah, of Thursday? So, I, I mean, look, I mean, game. Obviously, I'm I'm always going to be hyped. I go down University Ave. I, I get goosebumps immediately. It's always been something special to me. Going as a kid, just I love just the, the college atmosphere. Uh, it felt like game day without the crowds. Like game day, you can't even breathe sometimes. Yeah, but it had the buzz. It felt healthy. It felt thick. Like driving up University Ave, there's people like there, there was. It felt like a game day. Like people were walking up and down. Like last last time I came up on Thursday, it felt like I was coming up for a baseball game. You know gotcha. what I mean? And that's no shot to baseball. It's just obviously a, a different vibe. Um, but the stadium was packed in my eyes compared to what it was last year. The entire bottom bowl was filled up for the most part. Um, and last year, like I could have walked all the way down to the set to the front row and be no problem, bro. Quarter one, bro. I wasn't walking down there. It was filled to the gills all the way down to the bottom, which was awesome to see. So I was in the box early on, um, but afterwards I went down there and it kind of cleared up because people were ready to go home because it was hot and boring. But the uh, early on, man, it was it was electric. People were excited to see DJ Lagway sling that thing around, and there was cheers and there was uh, there was energy. It, it uh, you know they played Tom Petty. It was good. It, it felt like it was just as, almost close to a game day. Way better than the last two last two spring games for sure. Okay, and then my last question for you before you leave. On well, the on, leaving, Cody. on a scale of one to ten, how did high top production do today? Oh man, now, like I said, little little bump here at the end, but I gotta give him a nine point one. It was absolutely exceptional. Uh, everything flowed very smoothly. We usually have some kind of error, whether I mute my mic, my. My, my remote production guy is just not even there. I don't know. I got to go back make sure spelling was correct. I don't know. I don't know, right? How spelling, I was Google checking. Spelling was 98% correct. I'll take it because I can't. I'm not one to really talk about spelling. Um, I that's how you know it's you, not AI. That's true. You want to make sure that we're human. I, I yeah. respect that. I did see you change the bottom. We had that cancer, chomp cancer. I saw that pop up. You were quick on the dime with that. So, um, look. Cody, Cody's a, a guy's guy. He's a, he's a company guy. You know, the lunch pail kind of guy. He's always going to be dialed in. So, uh, phenomenal job, bud. I appreciate you as always. Always being ready to go. Always, always ready. Always can count on him. So, it was a good day. Ran smoothly for the most part outside of me leaving the live, which was my 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 bundle. bundle. So, that was on me. Um, but, yeah, it ran, it ran long. It, and when things run long, it means because it was going well. I mean, me and Joe, we, we, bro, me and Joe get going. Time, time, time doesn't exist. So I don't, can we get a when, live? Can we get a live show of just you guys on the golf course? Dude, I, I, I want. I was no joke. I'm thinking about. it. I'm gonna pitch it to Judd of like, okay, like we're gonna go out there. I'm gonna bring out three cameras, mics, and we're gonna do this thing right. Like a like uh, Bob does sports. Like high yeah, top does sports. Yeah, one thousand percent. Like it has always been a dream of mine. And I think about like, hey, can we get a badass force together? Let's go get to Bostick. Let's tell them what we're going to do, and let's do this thing right and fucking talk shit and just go and uh, get all the camera gear and not, and not have to think about it. I've got to get, get people because I want to do it right. i got to play golf too, right, because you got to do all, I got to do all of it. So I've been thinking about wanting to try to do something in the summer for sure. 
All right, guys, before we sign off, we have a big I'm 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 stopping this and going right back to the grind. I don't know if you know this, but um, just because everybody else messes around on 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 high top, uh, the you know, uh, uh, the legend is, is 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 jogging like Goggins, and and obviously you're gonna go watch the Masters after this. And um, high top Oregon is 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 see the sick, you know, sipping margaritas and high top Georgia. Um, he's trying to figure out if ETN's the next thing, uh, next Georgia running back. But I'm gonna go grind the film because we have a big draft day coming up. We have the. We do. The... Go ahead. April 25th at Best Bet off of 207 and I 95. Somebody hit me up, says, I don't bet, but I'll be there. So you best be there. Come by. We're giving out jerseys, replica, or uh, memorabilia. So you don't want to miss it. It's going to be a blast. It was fun last year. It's just a good time to watch the draft. Obviously, a lot of. We got Ricky Pearsall. That's going to be a big topic. It, it should be one. I mean, the last two years have been electric drafts in the sense of just fun names and see where they're going to go and how, the impact they're going to make to the team. Cody does a phenomenal job. This, this is where this guy gets paid. This is, how he gets, this is where he makes his money, okay? It, like, Mel Kuyper doesn't hold a fucking candlestick to this guy. He doesn't even sniff Cody's jock strap when it comes to the draft. So, this is uh, this is where, honestly, this is where Cody made his break. This is how Cody became part of the family. This is where he made yep. his debut. Be my one-year uh, anniversary. Yeah, yeah. I called Cody on, on a whim. I think, like, what, two days I gave you? 48 One hours? One day. Which, One day. 24, 24 hours. Which, which, in high top world, that's, I mean, that's a li- that's a lifetime. That's more than enough time, that's right? That, that's yeah. Yeah, that's, you've got plenty of time. Uh, us being organized and, and ahead of the game is unheard of. So You did call yeah. me, you did call me the same day and said, oh, I need you to do another 10 picks, too. Because, yeah, obviously, that Holly. was like, that was like, that was like, what, ten hours before? So yeah. still, nothing, nothing. I mean, plenty of time um, to hey, be prepared for these things. And by golly, in the Minnesota Viking War Room, were you ready to rock? And uh, talk to my people. They're like, hey, this this guy knows what he's doing. And I go, you know what? I think he does. Little, hey, little rough around the edges. Little quirky. He's got big glasses. Sometimes not the freshest haircuts, and sometimes has horrible takes. Uh, when it comes to the NFL, but all in all, the guy knows what he's doing, and we're we're, we're honing him in. I think you know we're 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 working out his strengths and his weaknesses, and really just powering in on his strengths. And uh, I'm excited for the draft. He's flying, literally, the guy's flying all the way down from uh, Canada, basically, to be here for this draft, to be live in person. Also, he's got a, he's got a whole gear. He ordered he ordered an entire like it's his first day of school outfit, ready to yep. go. Yep, yep, for sure. I love. It. Gotta look fresh. Gotta Lunch pail kind of guy right there, boys and girls. So smash the like button, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. Um, an absolute blast. Put, is Tiffany laughing at me? Yeah. Yeah, like, that was Tiffany hurt. laughing. <laughs> She's a little delayed. Yeah. Uh, we got, uh, what, I, what was I saying? Oh, the vlog. I'll have a little daily vlog. I, I felt like it'd be kind of cool to show you my perspective. I'm running around with like a crackhead usually. Um, but I wanted to document it for those of you who can't go, kind of what a spring game feels like, and maybe you you know get a little taste of it. Hopefully, it'll be some cool, some cool clips. But like I was Camp Parker and the boys, you know, on the sidelines, uh, getting the practice footage in for you. So I got I got our own here from High Top Sports. I was on, on the field today, boots on the ground today, boys, boots on the ground. Alrighty, and then um, one last thing for you guys, I appreciate you guys. We had seven hundred people strong in the first stream. Uh, Unreal! Wow. Two- 250 250 here and um obviously we had some 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 stuff to work on this is our spring practice too this is our our preseason um i can't wait for the season i can't wait for the call-in show i can't wait for the for when we beat all of the rivals i can't wait for game one when we put 35 on miami 35 zip and you guys are calling in hooting hollering i love you guys and it's always for the fans it's gonna be great i love it uh love you cody love you guys we'll see you boys like and subscribe thank you we'll see you later